Hey, what's up everybody? Scott, Scotty Tradition, coming back at you with a top 10 video. Uh, I'm going to go through the top 10 most valuable football and most iconic football rookie cards, um, in my opinion. Um, football is kind of where my expertise lies. Um, I've been collecting football for a number of years now. Um, but I just recently got into baseball, but um, I decided to do a top 10 list here. And I'm going to kind of start with this honorable mention you see right in front of me. Um, Red Grange, the 1933 Sport Kings, um, will be my first honorable mention, my only honorable mention actually. Um, the overall pop graded of this card is 332, which is not very much. That's the total amount of cards ever graded by PSA um, for this particular release. Um, and in PSA 8, there's only 31 copies. PSA 9, there's only 4. And um, no PSA 10s out there. Um, you can pick up a PSA 8 for about six to $10,000. So this is definitely, um, some of these cards are on my list to pick up at some point. Um, but I'd probably only be able to pick these up in uh, very low mid-grade if I'm lucky. Um, Red Grange, of course, was a two-time NFL champ, part of the 20s All-Decade team, nicknamed the Galloping Ghost, um, was a charter member of the NFL Hall of Fame. And um, his signing with the Bears in the mid-20s um, really helped um, legit legitimize the NH the NFL, if you will, um, in their infancy back in the early 20s. Um, so, th so that'd be my honorable mention. Uh, moving on. Number 10 on the list is a tie. We'll start out with the first one, Jerry Rice, uh, the three-time Super Bowl champ and 12-time All-Pro. Yes, 12 times. That's uh, pretty remarkable. Um, overall pop graded would be 18,428. Now that's a very big number. Um, we're starting to get into that 80s high production era. Um, PSA 9s, there were 956 graded. PSA 10s, uh, pop 56 as you can see, um, which is not actually a lot compared to if you divide uh, you know, 56 into 18,000. Know, that's not a very big percentage. Um, and the reason being was these green colored borders on the sides uh, chipped and flaked very easily. And it's really hard to get a card in gem mint. Um, and because it's so hard, a PSA 10 copy sells for around $10,000, uh, where you can pick up a PSA 9 for about $450 to $500 or so. And then um, also tied with Jerry Rice for number 10, um, I kind of look at these two as 1 and 1A, are, is his uh, passing companion, Joe Montana, the 1981 Topps rookie card. Um, as you can see, a high number of those graded as well, 14590 um, not quite as much, but look at the PSA 10s, um, 99, so almost double the PSA 10s, and almost 4,000 less graded. So these 1981 cards held up a little better because they have white borders and not green borders. Um, but 99 still not a huge number. Um, 1,700 or so 9s have been graded. Uh, PSA 10 here sells for 10,000 plus range. PSA 9 you can pick up for about 550 or $650. Uh, Montana, of course, four-time Super Bowl champ, two-time league MVP, one of the best players of all time. And moving down the list to number nine, Terry Bradshaw. Yes, the uh, commentator on Fox NFL Sunday. Um, this is another one of those tough issues. 1971 tops, always chipping and flaking off on the corners because of the colored borders. Um, that makes it so there's... Out of the 2,700 graded, only three of them have graded a 10. So not very much at all. I don't think I've ever seen a 10 actually come up for sale. Uh, PSA 9, pop 20. PSA 8, pop about 400. Um, and you can see a PSA 9 sells for about 17 to 20,000, which is a large sum of money. And a PSA 8 sells for about 1,200 or so. Uh, of course, Bradshaw, four-time Super Bowl champion with those great Steelers teams of the 70s. Um, Bradshaw was also league, league MVP in 1978. So moving down to number 8 on the list, Bart Starr, um, the 1957 Tops, um, overall graded 1,398. So you're starting, we're starting to see a less number overall graded here as we go back into the 50s. Um, PSA 8, 91 copies on, out there, PSA 9, only 3 of them have been graded with no 10s. Um, if you're wanting to get a PSA 9 of, of Bart Starr, one actually sold three years ago for about, uh, I think it was about a quarter of a million dollars. 
or if not three hundred thousand dollars. So they don't come up, and if they do, you're they're just gonna get fought over by the elite collectors of the world. Um, pictured here is my copy that I have, that I scrimped and saved for. Uh, it's a PSA eight um, that typically sells in the seven to eight thousand range, um, but recently it got as high as about ten thousand dollars two years ago, or uh, yeah, about two years ago. Um, so I'm actually glad it came back down a little bit, so I was able to grab that card early this year. This is the exact card from my own PC. Um, of course, Bart Starr, for those of you who don't know, uh, one of my favorite players of all time, five-time NFL champion, uh, two-time Super, Super Bowl champion, um, MVP of the league in 66, and he does have a mark of 9-1 and one all-time in the postseason, which is pretty amazing. Uh, moving on, his, his companion from 1957 tops, Johnny Unitas. Uh, overall pop graded is 2,637. Uh, PSA 8s, pop 185, PSA 8.5 only 4, PSA 9s only 8. So um, as you can see, about twice as many of these Unitas' have been graded um, than the stars, and that's why there's you know, almost twice as many PSA 8s out there, or excuse me, PSA 9s out there and 8s. Um, PSA 8s typically sell for around 6,000 just because there's more of them out there to be had. Uh, one sold at PwC earlier this month for some reason for 14,000. Um, it had one of those uh, high quality labels on it. So I don't know if that number is, I won't look at that 14,000 too much. Um, this card is also from my PC. I picked this up earlier this year as well. Unitas was a three time NFL champion, including a Super Bowl. Also, eight times All-Pro, which is great, and three-time League MVP. So it was a really great player for the Baltimore Colts. Moving on to number six on my list, we have Walter Payton, Sweetness. Um, he comes in at number six on my list. Um, this is just an iconic card. Um, 7,000 of these have been graded, so quite a bit. Um, within that, um, 50 10s and 576 9s. Um, you can pick up a 10 for about 15000 pick up a 9 for about 1200 bucks. So, not too bad. Um, even, even these cards, you know, about two years ago when we were at peak market, um, this Peyton was going for over well over $2,000. Um, just like that star that I talked about was going for over $10,000 a couple years ago, and everything's come back just a little bit. Um, Walter Peyton was a one-time Super Bowl champion, and an eight-time All-Pro, League MVP in 77. And a lot of what makes Walter Payton popular is everything he did off the field. Um, he died in 1999 of bile duct cancer. And he was a, a big advocate for organ transplants and a lot of charitable work that he did. So um, his name and his legacy kind of live on with the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award that we all hear about. So this kind of card kind of goes beyond football even though he was one hell of a football player, and I can say that being a Packers fan. Um, watching some of the video of him running back back in the 70s and 80s was just insane. Uh, moving on to number five on the list, another running back, Jim Brown. And I had trouble with where I want to put Jim Brown, because he is just one of the, obviously, the best, if not the best, one great running backs, great players of all time. Um, some of these cards can be interchangeable, obviously. Um, 2,700 of these are so graded. Uh, PSA 8s, you can see the pops there, 195. 8.5, pop 6. PSA 9, pop 5. I don't really, you never see 9s come up, or 8.5s for that matter. Um, PSA 8s typically sell around five to 7,000. And then again, look at that, two years ago, um, these things went from ten to $20,000. So they've come back down quite a bit as well. He definitely has a big following out there, Jim Brown. Um, he was a one-time NFL champion and a nine-time All-Pro and three-time league MVP with his time for the Browns. M moving down on my list, number four all-time, Jim Thorpe. Um, Jim Thorpe didn't have a ton of accolades as uh, a pro, but uh, another one of those things that kind of goes beyond football that makes this card so iconic. Um, he was an Olympic gold medalist and uh, the first Native American ever to win a gold medal in the Olympics and he just was one of the best all-around athletes of the early 20th century really just remarkable all the different sports he played all the different things he did including winning those Olympic medals um, this is again uh, the second 33 Sport Kings card 
um, to go along with the Red Grange that we talked about earlier. Um, POP 277, PSA 8, POP 22, 8, 5, only 1, PSA 9, POP 4. You never see these cards come up in 9, really. I mean, I've never seen one. And the few 8s that do come up, they would sell in that seven to 10,000 range, if not more. But there's just such a low sample size of these actually being sold that you don't really know what the price is if you've got a couple people that are going after it. Um, so next we'll talk about a modern card. Number three on my list, Tom Brady. The overall pop graded was 524 of these. As you can see, these are numbered to 1250. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of BGS graded varieties as well, but um, I think you're wrong if you're not great at using PSA to grade some of these base rookie cards just because you got to take advantage of the registry set users. Um, these cards will go for a lot more in a PSA holder. Um, PSA 10s, there's 99 out there. PSA 9s, there's 281 out there. Um, you can pick up a 9 for about 6500 bucks. A 10 sells in that fifteen to 20000 range, and that's been pretty stable over the last couple of years. Um, Brady, of course, five-time Super Bowl champion. Um, ironically, he's only a five-time All-Pro, which is I find kind of crazy that he's been playing that long, but um, he is part of that system, you know, that Belichick system that just wins. Um, he is three-time league MVP as well. So definitely an iconic card to have. Definitely one of the top rookies, even though it is a modern card. Um, I couldn't leave Tom Brady off the list just because of the ridiculous amount of money his cards go for. Um, moving to number two on the list, a card that I have no idea why it sells for this much, but it does. Um, Broadway Joe, Joe Namath, 1965 tops. Um, 1,113 of these total graded, um, 73 eighths. Three eight fives and five nines. Um, a PSA eight, you can expect to pay twenty-five to forty thousand dollars for. And yes, I'm not lying. That is just an insane number for a PSA eight card. Um, and pre twenty thirteen, these cards were selling for about five to six thousand. That's how much they've gone up in the last few years. You know, I don't know who's buying them, paying that much for them. But you know, Joe Namath was, in my opinion. I really don't think he's a Hall of Fame quarterback. He won one Super Bowl, and that's about it. Um, he doesn't have like any, any league all, all pros or anything like that. Um, he has that one Super Bowl, and his name is Broadway Joe, and he's got the New York factor going for him. So, you know, you can kind of equate this to baseball. You know, I was just a card I just purchased the other day, Jim Tomei, 612 home runs. That's eighth all time, but he played for the Cleveland Indians, so you don't really hear about Jim Tomei that much. If Jim Tomei was a New York Yankee for his entire career and had 612 home runs, can you imagine what that card would go for? It would be a lot more than it goes for now. So the New York effect is real. Um, collectors that generally have money and are willing to spend it on sports. Otherwise, I have no idea why Joe Namath sells for as much as he does. But he certainly does, and so that's why he is number two on my list. And number one on my list... The iconic 1935 National Chickle Bronco Nagurski card. Um, overall, only 154 of these have been ever graded, mainly because um, this is card number 34 in the 35 Chickle set. And the last 12 cards of that set, so number 25 through 36, are all short printed in the first place. So there's not a lot to be graded to begin with. Um, so there's eight. Uh, PSA 8, there's six of them out there. PSA 8.5, only one. PSA 9, only one as well. No 10s graded ever. Um, PSA 7s, yes, a PSA 7, only a 7. Sells in the thirty dollars to $40,000 range. If you're looking for an 8, you're going to pay 60000 And any of those other ones, I don't know what you're paying, but you're probably paying well over 100000 if not a couple hundred thousand dollars, to grab one of these cards in that kind of grade. Uh, Nagurski, a great player um, for the Bears, three-time NFL champion, seven-time All-Pro, uh, played for the Bears in the 30s as a fullback. So just a uh, great player and an iconic card, absolutely. So that's about it, guys and gals. Hopefully you enjoy the top ten list. Um, you can debate amongst yourselves, but this is the best list that I could compile um, as cards that I would want to pick up and eventually someday I uh, have in my PC 
Um, these are the ones I would call the most iconic, and probably these are the 10 most valuable, I would say, uh, especially rookie, uh, base rookie cards, um, and graded in high grade in the world. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and um, we'll talk to you soon with another video. You guys have a great night, and thanks for listening.